I've manifested my dream career as an artist and I quit my job in 2020 and it was the best feeling in the whole world, I, can, I promise you. It felt so releasing and I was so extremely excited and happy because finally I could quit this job because I didn't want to be there and I had to work for someone else. All the time I worked even weekends, it was crazy and I was exhausted. I didn't even have much energy for doing my own projects. How did I do it? First, I followed some key principles that you need to understand in order to manifest your dream career. Because before I knew them, I just failed. Whenever I was thinking about quitting my job and starting my own business, I had fear. When I, when I was thinking about it, I had all these images of maybe landing on the street, having no money, what if it doesn't work out? And that was the first lesson I got. If you feel like that, when you think about quitting your job and starting your own business, you're not ready yet. We all know like attracts like. So if you feel that way about quitting your job, that's probably what you're going to attract. So first of all, I needed to work a lot on my mindset and how I feel. And here I will share with you exactly what I did and I'll tell you also my story on how I got there so that you can use it for yourself and start your own business in 2024 because you can manifest it. It's absolutely possible and it's all in your mind. If you believe you can or if you believe you can, either way you're right. That's a great quote from Henry Ford and it's so true. You decide what you can do and what you cannot do. It's all you, nobody else. Nobody else has control over you and what you can do or cannot do, okay? So let's dive into it. How can you manifest your dream career in 2024? First, you need to have a burning desire. That's the first thing. If you just want it or wish for it or you think it would be kind of cool, it's not enough because you don't have enough energy to actually work on it. Especially if you are now in a day-to-day -day job, like if you have a nine-to-five job or you're just working a lot, maybe you even work 80%. A lot of us, we work in a job that we don't like, so we don't have much energy and excitement to work on our own projects after working that much in a job, right? I had this all the time and it was so frustrating. I had no energy, but this changed when becoming my own boss and having my own business and having this sense of freedom and being able to do whatever I want and do what I love and make money with it. And this went from an idea and a wish and a want to a burning desire and I absolutely needed to have this, everything changed. I had suddenly enough energy to work on my business on the side. But it didn't end here because first of all, the burning desire is the first step and it will get you to take action effortlessly. Because as we know, law of attraction doesn't require you to really take action. A lot of action is forced. Doesn't mean you should sit on the couch and do nothing. But if you sit on the couch and do nothing, your thinking is off. And sometimes it helps to just get out of the couch and do something because it moves your energy and you feel better. That's one thing. The other thing is like if your mind is aligned with what you want, you have a burning desire and then second, very high belief that you actually can do it. But think of like if you have a burning desire, but you have no belief in whatever you want, why would you even go off the couch and start doing something because you believe it won't work anyways, right? So first thing was burning desire. Second thing was like, I believed I can, I can do it. There was a switch in my mind. You cannot fake it because first I didn't believe I can do it. And so I also didn't do much on it. And I was stuck in my job. And every time I was thinking about leaving my job and thinking about opportunities or what could I do, I just was fearful. And obviously it wasn't the right time to quit. And so I haven't quit. But then I asked myself, so what do I need to do in order to get this fear away, this doubt, and increase my belief. Because you do need to have belief in order to do that. And so I knew one thing is definitely, what makes me afraid is the finances. I had no money, I had no savings, and I was earning pretty, a little sum of money every month, very, very little, below the minimum in Switzerland. And what I did then is like I committed on using this year to plan ahead for leaving my job and creating my own business. When I got real clarity of how much money I can save in this job, I got excited because suddenly I saw a path. I saw the, the finish line. And there is also a cool saying, which is clarity is prosperity. So you have to be very, very clear on what you want. And here, when it's about your business, you have to be very, very clear on how much money you need to leave your job. And either you create this income while you're in your job, which is hard sometimes, or you save up money 
how much money do you need on the side that you would feel secure to potentially leave your job? And if you do these things, then you will start feeling better. Because after one year, I saved up 20,000, which was like a lot of money for me. And based on my job, I was only able to save a maximum of 10,000 if I would basically sa save every single penny. But it was worth for me because I, was, I, knew, I knew where I'm going. I knew what was my result, which is being free, do what I love and quit my job. So this motivated me. I had a burning desire again, burning desire. So fast forward after I had saved up 20,000. First of all, I felt so much better. I came from this fearful state in a, into an abundant state. And I created this. This was already a manifestation. I've never been able to save money in my whole life. But then I committed because I knew what I wanted. I had full clarity. That was the first thing, right? I've, I was in an abundant state. And then what happened then was crazy. I knew now I have money. I can invest in a coach. Because if you get a coach, you basically get a shortcut. If you have someone that's already doing what you want to do, you just literally save so much time. And I wanted to quit right away, as soon as possible. So I got the coach. And funny wise, the coach didn't even know so much about my subject, which is selling art. He was actually a coach for other coaches and consultants. But I kind of had a good feeling with him and I got one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I signed up with him and within 45 days, I made 24,000 from my art. 24,000 within 45 days. Can you imagine that? That was, that was almost as much as I made in a whole year from my full-time job. And then it was really funny. That's my personal story now. Me and my boss, we screamed at each other on Zoom, luckily. And at one point when she screamed at me, I just slammed the computer and I was so pissed. But I also felt empowered because now I didn't need to let her scream at me anymore because I didn't need her. I saved up money. I got a coach and then I made 24,000 within 45 days from my art. Needless to say, I had more than enough money to quit my job. It was still a risk, but I had a lot of money. I was in an abundant state and I believed I can do it. And I had this burning desire and it was one of the best decisions in my life. And from there, there were up and downs, but in the same year, in the same year, in November, I made my first 30,000 month selling a single painting for 24,000 USD. That's the power of your mind. That's the power of manifestation. And I want you to know that. So I'm going to summarize here. So, so stay with me because I know there, there are some different moving parts. I want to summarize for you what you can do right away to do the same thing. And of course, it depends very much on where you're at. But again, let's summarize. First, you need a burning desire. Second, you need to have a high belief that you can do it. And there are different ways how you can actually increase your belief. Look at other people that have what you want. Look at many, many examples of people that are already doing what you want. Make a screenshot and, and put them on a vision board. That helps to increase the belief. If a friend of yours, somebody you know, is doing what you want and making money from that, that's even better. But then also other things like maybe you need to save up some money so you feel more secure. So you can think that even something happens, even if it doesn't work, you still have savings. So you're going to be OK. That will make you so much more calm and it will be easier for you to manifest that. But everything that's against like any negative emotions like fear, worry, doubt, they are going to stop this manifestation. They basically push what you want away from you. So you need to figure out ways on how you can feel good in this process. Very, nobody really talks about that because everybody says you can manifest whatever you want. And yes, it's true within reason. And within reason means like it depends where you're at. Because again, if I tell you, you can manifest whatever you want, you can manifest 5 million this year, which is true. But if you don't believe it, you're not going to manifest it. So it doesn't matter. You don't even need to think about that. You need to start where you're at. You need to start where you're at and then you need to figure out what you need in order to feel really, really good. Feel secure, feel excited, looking forward, uh, positive expectations, all these things. So I'm kind of teaching here a very practical way of using the law of attraction. Because in the end of the day, we are all individuals and we are all on our own journey. Right. So you need to know where you are at and what you need. And I can tell you what I did and you can use what's 
most valuable for you and do the same. So summary, burning desire, high belief, and also clarity. You need to know exactly what you want and why you want it. Your why needs to be strong, which basically fuels the burning desire. If your why is strong and you know exactly why you want it and you can see it in your mind, you can imagine it, you visualize it. And when you visualize it, that's actually the fourth thing, when you visualize it and you feel excited, that's going to fuel the fire. And the more you're in this space, the more you're excited and you, you can see it even more clear. You even dream about creating your own business, living it, being free, quitting your job and all these things. And you, you, there is no fear and doubt anymore. That's when you're ready. That's when it's going to happen pretty fast. Because I spent a whole year selling only 15,000 of my art. A whole year. It was pretty hard. And then the second year, 45 days. Just 45 days and I made 24,000. So success is not a straight line. Sometimes we need some mind switches that activate us to use our bigger potential, which we already have in us, but we cannot fake it, right? So I was aligned. I was completely aligned with what I wanted. I removed the doubt, I removed the fear, and it took work. I couldn't just think it away. I needed to be honest with myself and do things that actually supported my belief and my desire. So it was like I took baby steps, like saving every month and being very disciplined with it. And then I got a coach because I wasn't, even with the, the money that I saved, I, I still felt, I, I still didn't feel ready to go to just quit my job and do it on my own. But I knew when I get a coach, I would have an increased belief because I have help. I'm not doing it on my own. And maybe I find someone that already knows these things better than me, right? So I got a coach. My belief increased even more and then the last step once you're aligned with your desire your belief you have a strong why you feel really really good you can see it in your mind you picture it and you get excited about it you have positive expectations then i took massive action and i purposefully took the action part in the end because sometimes we always think we need to do more and take more action, but it doesn't work if you are not aligned. It's almost like when you are aligned with your desire, your belief, and you just feel amazing, you can see it in your mind, and then you take action. Your actions will lead to 10, if not 100 times more results if you work on these things with doubt, fear, worry, and all these things. You're gonna be so inefficient. So that's also, it doesn't take more time. As you saw, like, I didn't work more in 2020 when I made 20, sorry, when I made 24,000 within 45 days, I didn't work more than in 2019 when I made only 15,000 for my art. But because I was completely aligned, my actions gave me much bigger results. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions, if you need more clarifications. But that's basically how I did it. And if I did it, you can too, because I had no money my whole life. I grew up from, I, I lived with my mom and my mom never worked. Always, always very, very little money, basically pretty poor. And now I'm living my dream, living from my art. I've been self-employed ever since, traveling the world. I also met my dream girl now. So at one point when you achieve these things, you create positive momentum. And one good thing after the next comes, because it's not just about what you want. It's also about who you are. And who you are, I mean, like vibrationally, that's what's going to be important, right? And you cannot trick the law of attraction. You have to be aligned vibrationally, which means for me, like your thoughts and your emotions are aligned with what you want. They are in a positive direction. And you remove the doubt and the fear on all these things that are stopping you. Okay. So if you want to know more and if you want to have my help, I offer now a free community called Manifest Your Dreams. I put the link down below. So if you want to learn from me or talk to me personally, just click, join the group and we'll talk in there. Peace out.